everyone, and welcome to another edition of Tank of Gas Getaway. I'm Joe Camerlinghi, and I'm in downtown Bandon, Oregon. Now, if you've been on some of my adventures before, you might recognize this guy. He's Henry the Fish, a creation of Washed Ashore. It's a nonprofit organization that takes beach trash and plastic and turns it into works of art. And Henry here is one of the originals. But he's got a new look to him. He's nice and clean. A great attraction here in downtown Bandon. You can come take pictures with him, but there's a whole lot more to do. So let's take you around this town. Just a short walk from Washed Ashore is the waterfront and the stores of Old Town Bandit. You can watch the fishing boats come in and see what kind of fresh catch they're pulling up from the ocean. You can also see the lighthouse and Bullard's Bridge spanning the Coquille River as it feeds into the ocean. How about some food? In the past, we've shown you the fish and chips of the Bandon Fish Market, but this time we're headed next door to Tony's Crab Shack. We have fresh crab mostly all the time. Um, we buy them locally and uh, we cook them off daily. And then we do things with the crab meat like crab cakes and um, crab sandwiches and salads, things like that, cocktails. We have quite an extensive little menu. The other thing Tony's is known for? Fish tacos. So we buy a fresh local rockfish, make our own pico de gallo, which is the salsa on top, and then shred cabbage. It comes with our own little uh, house-made um, sauce. Those tacos have people driving out of their way to stop in Bandit. But I, I really wouldn't know anything about that. Speaking of not knowing, never been in Cranberry Sweets before. Let's see what they got going on over there. Okay, yeah, I've been in here a time, maybe two, maybe more before, but uh, the manager, Don, she was nice enough to let me taste some of the new chocolates they have out on display. We have our milk chocolate bacon puddle, which is just chocolate and bacon. For Father's Day, we brought in our almond toffee with bacon. And brand new for Father's Day in this case, we have our sea salt caramel with bacon. Good luck making it out of that store without trying a dozen free samples and purchasing about five pounds worth of chocolate and sweets. But again, you can just walk around town and it all burns off. Or you can just hit the links. The world famous Band and Dunes courses are always ranked in the top 10 in the nation. And then down Highway 101, you have the great Band and Crossings course, which is not far away from the West Coast Game Safari Park, a fun place to get up and close with a variety of animals. With all that talk of chocolate and food, I buried the lead, the Pacific Ocean. The views here are amazing and the beaches stretch for miles and they're clean. One of the reasons, go back to the beginning. We showed you that sculpture, it washed ashore. Well, people around here, they pick up their trash and their plastic, they bring it into washed ashore, keeps the beaches clean and creates amazing sculptures. Also want to note, you can hear it, the wind. You are going to have to prepare for that if you head downtown in Old Town and here at the beaches, but on a hot summer day, you can't beat a breeze off the Pacific Ocean. I hope you enjoyed this tank of gas getaway in Bandon, Oregon. Joe Camerlinghi, NBC5 News.